In the West Bank village of Anazen, South Hebron Hills, aggressions escalated yesterday as settlers harassed residents and stole water from their local well. A volunteer who was present on the scene reported that the settlers had begun their provocations the day before, draining water and taunting the villagers. Early yesterday morning, the activists positioned themselves by the well to prevent further waste. By afternoon, two settlers returned, including a familiar figure known for frequent harassment in the area. According to the activists, the settlers claimed the well and the land belonged to Israel, dismissing the notion that the area was part of Palestine. For over 15 minutes, the settlers shook the well's cover as the activists sat on it. The situation became more dangerous and the activist was eventually shoved off the well. This is mine. The settlers then used the well to splash about and wash their vehicles. This Palestinian well serves the dire needs of the families of Anizan, so stealing the water just added to the cruelty. One of the settlers then accused the activist of causing injury and threatened to contact the authorities. Later in the evening, the settlers returned, this time harassing the villagers directly. Today, the settlers returned to Anazan once more. This time, one of the settlers came on horseback, making it possible for them to drive the Palestinian residents' herds away from where they needed to be. The settlers also stole more water and splashed it on the horse. Notably, this harassment took place across the road from Zenuta, where residents were recently served with a dire ultimatum of displacement, in an area where everyone else has been pushed out. The incident highlights the ongoing struggle over water resources and land rights in the region, as well as the daily challenges faced by Palestinian communities under occupation.